You're about to be able to see the most controversial movie of the year that up until now you weren't able to see. Good evening. It looks like you can take your choice. Starting tomorrow, you'll be able to watch the interview in the comfort of your own home by paying for a streaming video version of it on YouTube. And if you prefer a real theater presentation, you can attend the film's limited release in select theaters around the country, including at least one right here in Cincinnati. Local 12's Rich Jaffe joins us now from the Esquire Theater in Clifton with a sneak peek and reaction to the controversial film, Rich. Paula, the first showing of the interview will be here at the Esquire at 120 tomorrow afternoon, and there will be four showings a day. You can pretty well expect that it's going to be here as long as it continues to make money. Now, only 300 theaters across the country were selected for this limited release, and I'm being told that the staff here expects that all of the shows tomorrow here at the Esquire are going to be sold out. Early in the day, you couldn't find any evidence that the theater is preparing to run the controversial movie. No hint on the marquee, no posters. The only sign on the website, search shows for Christmas Day. But avid movie buffs like John Banner were already buying tickets for the Christmas Day premiere. And along with cinematic curiosity comes a good dose of outrage. I think freedom of expression and non-censorship is a very important thing. And I think being bullied by that little dictator is totally ridiculous. The movie lays out a comedic plan to assassinate the leader of North Korea. That's believed to be the motivation behind a massive data hack of Sony Pictures and the threat of a 9-11 type attack in the U.S. Sony delayed the nationwide release and generated a worldwide debate about censorship. Well, we lived in the Middle East for six years where there was a lot of censorship and we would come to the theater and know that parts were put out of film, so we are opposed to that and that's one of the reasons why we'd see it. Like George Clooney said, you know, we have to stand with Sony. While owners of the Esquire didn't want to talk on camera, in a prepared statement they tell us we feel freedom of expression is an important part of the film industry and to our Constitution. We will be opening the interview on Christmas Day. We're working on lining up some intriguing Q&A to discuss the film and its surrounding controversy. A longtime Esquire fan and movie buff, Walter Blower, plans to see the film here and checked out reviews on his phone using the International Movie Database. In fact, it's colored in, 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 in orange, mm -hmm. and so I would, I would call that a mixed review. Walter says he's not mad at Sony for initially pulling the film. If you had a theater full of people and all it would take would be one theater and you had a terrorist incident, then everybody would be criticizing Sony for making the wrong decision. In this case, a lot of people, including the President of the United States, are criticizing them for, for making the wrong decision before anything happened. Now, as you can see, the marquee still hasn't changed. Staff tells me that they have not changed it yet because they didn't want to confuse their patrons today. I'm also told that in case anyone's feeling a little uncomfortable about it, there will be some added security in here during the showings, at least tomorrow. So if you're all good boys and girls, maybe uh, you'll find some controversial tickets in your Christmas stockings in the morning. In Clifton, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Paula? I have a friend growing, and Rich, what do you think? Are most people going because they really were looking forward to this movie, or they're trying to make a statement? You know, I, th I think it's a good dose of both, but certainly everyone that I've talked to, um, whether they were curious about it, a little bit curious, willing to wait, I think everybody has pretty much got a feeling they, they want to send a message that you can't do that to us, and it looks like they're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rich, and I'm sure, as you said, it's going to be filled up. While FBI officials say that they believe North Korea is behind the cyber attack and threats at Sony, some other cybersecurity investigators say they're really not so sure. The issue is whether anyone in North Korea has the technology to mount such an attack. While the debate rages, the FBI investigation continues.